how to green screen in Final Cut Pro. Okay, so here we have, I already have um, some video, some green screen video, as you can see my friend Nathan here um, in front of a green screen on the timeline. Um, and the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna actually have to move it up one level uh, to video two, to the video two spot, because we're gonna actually have to put something underneath it, something behind it. So here's my video footage here with the green screen. Um, we're gonna go to effects. Um, we're gonna go to video filters and we're gonna go down to uh, key. Because what we're actually doing is we're gonna key out the green. And what I like to use, there's many different ones that you can choose from. What I like to do is, first off, I like to add color smoothing um, to my stuff. Uh, 422 is for HD stuff, so I'm just gonna add that. And what you do is you just take it from here and you can drag it into uh, onto your video. And to make sure that it's there, uh, just double click on that video. And if you go up here to this screen, you'll see a video stereo filters. Click on filters and there we have our color smoothing. And you can tell that it's turned on because the box is checked. And then I like to use chroma keyer. So I'm going to grab chroma keyer and I'm going to drag that down that and as you can see it popped up there. Now once we have that there it doesn't automatically key things out. You usually have to uh, adjust things and sometimes it's easiest to do visual. So I'm going to just click visual on the chroma keyer. And here we have this. Um, now right here is the color. So the color that we want is not necessarily this really light green. So there's two ways you can do this. You can either widen this by just, you click on it and you kind of slide it open. And then if you have the little hand here, you can move it back and forth. So you can see it's starting to change a little bit. Or you can grab the little eyedropper over here, this thing, click on it. Um, show you that. Let's bring that back to the wrong color. <laughs> so it comes green again. If you click the eyedropper and then bring it over here into this screens and you click on it, it kind of picks it out. Now, unless you have a really well lit green screen, you usually have like sort of different shades depending on how the light hits it. So I'm going to go back to this and kind of spread this out. Um, and seeing as we have more green than blue in this, just kind of move this over. Hopefully, it start to change this a little bit. It's kind of a, you have to experiment around with it. Um, this is the saturation, so we're gonna widen that out. And as you can see in the other corner, it starts to help a little bit. Do the Luma. Ah, there we go. So we went from green to being a solid black, and the reason it's a solid black is because we have no picture behind us. So let's select a picture. Okay, let's take rainbow cloud. Okay, that's the rainbow cloud. We're gonna take that and we're gonna drag it on down to the timeline and we're gonna put it below that. And so, there we are. As you can see in this other thing, it's behind it and that is behind them. Now we're gonna obviously resize this so we don't have black on either side. So what we're gonna do is we uh, double clicked on the picture itself and I'm gonna go to motion, which allows us to, you know, reshape it. And I'm gonna make it bigger, so it fills this whole screen. It might be a little bit too big, but that's okay. So now we have green screen behind him. And obviously uh, on most of these things, um, you usually have to render stuff. Um, not necessarily though. All right, and that's basically how you do green screen. Thanks for watching.